What is going on guys today? We have got more League SBCs and personally I'm not too sure with them. Um, obviously League 1, so first of all what players did we get? 83 and 84 and the only reason why I think we have the consistency of lower rated players is A, they're going to release more players into it or B, they're going to do exactly what they did for, for Serie A is make objective players. Um, so basically, if we go to the objectives, we got an 87 rated player from the Serie A who will be upgraded at some point. So if you go over to Milestones, you'll see there, um, I didn't read this at the top until it was uh, mentioned on Twitter, is we got complete this set of, uh, set of complete this Complete this set to earn untradeable rewards. Hold on to the group reward for an additional upgrade opportunity. And I can imagine because the player card is not an SBC card or it's not a league SBC card, it's a storyline card. So it might be a new feature or a new card type in the game. Um, and I believe what they're going to do is probably do all the major leagues like that as well as a league SBC. Because it seems that this year... They've changed the style of League SBC. They've still given up, given us it repeatable. But personally, I think the rewards are a little bit less than last year. We still do get some small prime um, player packs and mixed player packs. But there's no uh, there's no prime player there's no prime gold players packs. So the 45s. Obviously, they've give, given the major teams. So they give Bayern and PSG only six minimum um, and 11 league on for a mega pack. So I think what they're kind of doing is making it that little bit easier but you only get an 84 reward so you can't max out and get 86s 88s 89s i think was that one i believe it was umti could you get 89 or 88 um you could get casemiro as an 89 i believe he was um and i think what they're doing is doing it that way so we've got the league sbc cards but then we also have the uh, objective cards whether i think that's right i'm not too sure I liked the League SBC method last year, and I knew they were going to do something because it was very OP. Um, and we do get good cards. Like you get small prime gold players there. You get a small prime Electrum. You can still make money on it. Um, obviously, Leon is a small prime gold. You can still make money on it, but I don't know. I think it's going to be a lot more luck involved. I have done PSG right here. Personally, I had five of them in the club. I went and brought... Um, him for 4.7k um, they are absolutely on the rise so pretty much every single player here is going to be worth four and a half k so you are at the minute if you're doing it putting a lot into it and personally for video purposes i'm gonna do this one um, as well mainly because the last time i opened a psg was when i got the knockout stage messy 99 guaranteed not going to get anyone good in it anyway but you never know, I thought, you know, we'll give it a go. PSG was quite a lucky one for me, and we don't get anything. Wow, so personally, my opinion for this, at the minute anyway, is to just keep your coins. Go ahead and, and just sell off at the minute. Personally, I want to go probably all liquid throughout the whole year, um, but I will see how it goes later on down the line, um, because obviously it's a good method. Don't, don't get me wrong, I really enjoyed doing the SBCs last year, but... They can come very costly. Um, obviously, Fabregas is probably going to be on the rise. Um, all of the League on players are going to be going for mad value. And I'll show you a couple of them in one second. So we'll just put him up for 1-6. He probably will go. Moisanda, again, another one that's going for a little bit, mainly because Bundesliga. Uh, so we'll sell you 1.4. Anyone else? We've got Marcelo, who was probably going up for a little bit of a rise. I don't know how much they're going for without that bid. Probably not a lot. Why can't, why is there no, there we go. So we got 2.4. We'll put them up for 1.5 with a 9.50. See what that goes for. And we got Fellaini. We'll just whack up for 7.50 um, just to get rid of him. But that's it, really. I, I personally don't know what they're going to do with League SBCs. I think they may have stopped them whilst there's not many out. I, I just, I don't know with them. Looking at other leagues, you've got Bundesliga is currently kind of chilling at that 3.70. And then the Chinese league is sitting at 95. Did we sell anyone? We sold quite a few. Silver Pat Method is, is OP as well at the minute, um, just to get you in there. Obviously, 6.3k for him. But looking at League on players then. So we'll see how much the value is going up. Obviously, it's going to continue to go up 
as as more and more today um, and then maybe have a drop later on um, because obviously people are going to finish what they want to do um, we have got quite a few as i've kept them um, so you see here again straight away 2k uh, we'll go with the right mid i think a lot of these are tradable as well you you could probably make off the bronzes alone probably a good 50k and that for me personally with what i'm doing with reviews and everything like that that money can come in good hand rather than potentially getting a massive pull off maybe the fifth time of doing la liga or league on so at the minute i'm thinking i'm gonna go full liquid get all my coins back from the teams and absolutely smash it that way and we see here so we'll, we'll put some up and see if they do sell by the time i have a look through them so he's what was that did i see a 4.4 4.4 4. so if we put them up for 4k we'll put them up for 4.2 um, give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, we'll go back to this one because I think a few of these obviously were a couple of K. Um, he's going for 2K there. So we'll whack him up for 1.8 I'm going to say. See if he sells. And it do always does this weird glitch here. There we go. It's back. I don't, I don't get why it does that. But for me, I think staying full liquid at this moment in time is very crucial because you don't want to be having absolutely stupid amounts of players that cost you loads because they're going to drop. And again, like these league SBCs, once all of them are out and people are in full flow with them, you can jump on the bandwagon there. Personally, last year, I think I joined quite late on the league SBCs and still managed to make an absolute killing off them. Um, so I don't think it's, it's majorly important to be fully invested in every single one right now. It's, it's a smart way if you're not worried about your coins. If personally, I didn't do reviews and... I did maybe a road to glory. I probably would go above and beyond for this. I'd probably whack everyone in the club and just go absolutely ham on it. Because you look at it, like the amount of bronzes I've got that personally I've not been keeping them for very long. These are just the bronze players that I've got. And I've probably got quite a few of them bar from maybe the rares. Um, so just making the money off these and then obviously the silvers as well. Um, it's going to be incredible value back. And you got to think pretty much every single player here has been has been gotten from a 400 coin pack. And obviously you take the loss to start with. And that's what I've done mainly with these is you take the loss. You've obviously put them in your club for a little bit. You've made the coins back probably by like fivefold off one player. Like if I sell him for what 1.2 will put him up for. That's what three bronze, three bronze packs each one. Obviously, then if you get the 2K value, the 3K value, it's still incredible um, with how much you've actually made off these. So it's a smart way to do it that way. And I think that's how I'm going to start most FIFAs, as I believe League SBCs are always going to be a thing. I think keeping them um, repeatable was a very, very smart move. Um, it does help people. And I think grinding them does actually pay off in the long run if you are clever with it. If you just go ahead and buy every single player there's no point in that that is just the worst thing you can do if you do it where you have five or six in your club and then you go buy them that is definitely the way to do the league sbc and minimize how much cost you've actually used you get packs every week obviously you get packs back from doing these league sbcs as well as getting the sbc card that will go into any other player a little bit down the line we've had a few players at the lower rated that an 84 could work really well for and that's the only thing that i think is going to be a little bit of a, a different a difference from last year is the fact that the league sbcs this year are really not valued at very high uh, we've only got four spots left so we'll finish them off and then we'll have a look at some silvers um we might actually look and put two silvers up as well just to show it's not just the bronzes that are obviously going at the minute uh we will sell the rest of them later uh, but if we go to silvers now, uh, as you see again, I do have some trade. I have some um, untradeables, which we will get rid of by putting the value first. So obviously Cheju is higher now and he's going for six. I'm seeing 6K right there. Maybe might all 4.7, 4.4. We're seeing 4K. So we'll put him up for three and a half, three, six. We'll put him up for three, six. See if he goes at that. Um, you mainly want to pick the leagues, the, the kind of players that obviously haven't got many supply. A lot of these players will be silver based as well. Um, there is a few gold in each squad, but predominantly you will see a lot of silvers in the lower rated teams. We saw it last year with Cardiff, Hoeska, um, uh, Valladolid. I think who else you had? 
You had a couple in the Bundesliga as well that were relatively silver based. So you can see again, so we've not got many silvers in the club. Again, golds are doing really well. I think it depends on who you're go going for. Um, I think mainly gold rated teams won't be touched. PSG, on the other hand, will be a massive one. So we've made, oh wow, okay, so we've sold two of the bronzes. So we sold 1.5 for him. Um, he was in, obviously, the pack, uh, 450, 150, 4.2K. So he's paid for just over 10 bronze packs and then 900 there. So what, 12, 13 bronze packs paid for practically off two players that I got. And Griffiths I've, I've packed so many times because he's a very common one. If you go and do bronze packs now, you will make a killing if you do manage to go ahead and get some of these Lee guns and just sell them. That's personally my advice. I'm going to literally be doing bronze packs for the rest of the day just to get as many Lee guns as we can. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you let me know down below. Um, and let me know as well, will you be doing the League SBC method? Is that something that you want to see covered? Or are you quite happy to stay liquid all year round and just make an entire God squad? Let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.